coming back to the studio here, I have a four Joseph on this business segment, and we're talking about agri business. Good morning, Good morning. Four Joseph. How are you today? I'm fine. I saw a copy of your book. I thought is um, uh, Joseph is uh, a writer, and he wrote a book on a Greek. And when I saw it, you know, one of the first set of things that came to me is, is he old? Is he young? Now, looking at you, or are you old in Z? I'm young physically. In and out, I'm young. Yes. yes. Mm, in and out, you're yes. young. Well, congratulations on the release Thank of the book. Good work. Good work. So talk to me. How long have you been a writer? I've been a writer since uh, 2000. Okay. Since I've been writing. Since two, year 2000? Yes. Where were you in year 2000? Talk to me. In year ah. 2000, I was still in the secondary school. Eh? Eh? You were right in secondary school. Yes. What were your mates doing? <laughs> Bros, what were your mates doing? You were playing football? Yes, yes. everybody has one to do at some point. Oh, but for you, it was writing. Writing was your passion. Yes. And then why a Greek? Why write? I mean, you wrote a book called Agrid Business Made Easy. And I'm like, why a Greek? Yes, um, I have always had a passion for a Greek writing mm -hmm. when I was a child. Are your parents farmers? My parents were not farmers. So I I grew up in a in a junkyard near the store metal scraps. So oh. there we have a very good space where I grew yams. Then I was in primary school. So that was where my journey started from. Oh my. I need to sit well. You know why? When a young person is doing uh, things like this, it makes me feel like there's hope. Yes, of course. So you were planting yam in primary school? Yes. Where exactly? Where? Worry. Worry? Yes. You were planting yam? Yes. Again, I ask, what were your mates doing when you were planting yam? Okay. Some of my mates then, uh, they would mock me and they, and they call me farmer. So at that time... In a very derogatory manner, yes. right? So they feel that um, look, there's this mindset then that you are a farmer, you be poor or something like that. Mm. So that was, uh, as I was growing then, my, I have to transition from agriculture to agribusiness. Okay. Because agribusiness is where the money is. Because that mm. is the business of agriculture. So what does agribusiness mean? Agribusiness, like I said now, is the business of agriculture. Mm. Now, the difference between agribusiness and agriculture is that one yeah. has to do with the field practice, mm -hmm. like go to the farm, mm -hmm. uh, do the planting, not sure the crops, at mm -hmm. harvest time, you, you sell. sell off in any local mm -hmm. market. But agribusiness says get to the farm, cultivate, nurture, harvest, process, mm -hmm. package, and let it be in the shops, in the supermarkets, even the spots. Mm -hmm. So, like, agribusiness is now filling all of those uh, uh, steps, the various yes. um, uh, steps in, in a business, you know, they say there is a, what's the thing, there, there, there must be a downline, value chain. a value chain. Yes. Okay, so, knowing the value chain, I know you, you run a farm called Fem yes, Vine Fem. Solutions. Yes. What do you do there? Okay, there, we do from the feed to the kitchen. So, it means from the feed, where you grow the crops, hmm. it could be... Uh, in the greenhouse as well, so you you harvest, we process, then it gets to the shop, and from the shop finally it gets to the kitchen. Mm. So why we are doing that is that at some point we discovered that so many agro produce they, mm. they are being wasted uh, during the peak season, mm -hmm. like tomato for instance. Now I have a friend who is into a packaging of uh, tomato powder, okay, and another one is into packaging of um, tomato powder. powder. Yes. Onion powder. Yes. Tomato powder. Yes. In Nigeria. Yes. Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Your people are doing great things, and they are your friends. Yes, they're my friends. Wow. 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 Now, okay, people want to reach you, and they want to find out more about what you do, yes. and all that. How do they reach you? On social media, your phone. You have a website. Yes, I have a website www.fenvinegroup.com.ng Group. Yes. I like that vision. Then, then you can also call or send a WhatsApp message to 080 64 
0604419398. Okay, um, 0064419398. Okay, but, but you know, apart from this, um, if you will advise a young person who wants to go into the agri business or function in that regard today, what would you ask them to do? I will ask them to do into processing and packaging. Because with that, mm. you don't have to go to the farm. So, as we speak, there, there are several persons we have trained across Nigeria. I have trained more than 5,000 persons, mostly women. During mm. the lockdown last year, I trained more than 2,000 private school teachers across Nigeria. Because at that time, they were not being paid mm. yet the work. Mm -hmm. So I trained them, and some of them, after the lockdown, mm. they refused to go back to the classroom. Oh. Here in Lagos, I have some women who have trained school teachers who have cottage factories. I have one in Ketu. Okay. In Abuja, there is a very busy hospital administrator. Okay. Who has like eight products right now with now that number. I just trained her on WhatsApp. That was like four years ago. Uh -uh. So today she's packaging. Yes. You call it. Yes. Is the that should be the angle everybody should be looking at. Yes. Because packaging. that yes, because that one. Do we have enough products to package? I mean yes. Nigerian products are all over the market and the mm. fair is always in waste away. Mm. Um they, they they after a short um period of time they're no longer consumable. Mm. Can we then package? Do we have the technology? Do yes, we have the tools? Yes. There are local way of doing it that the food product will stay even on the chair for two years. Naturally, nothing is going to happen to it. You don't need artificial chemicals. Mm -hmm. So these are what we do. So uh, this is what I do full time. So, for example, beans yes. or rice. Yes. You know, after a while it begins to bring out with You're yes. saying it can stay on the shelf. Yes. For two years. Yes. There's a way to go about it. Because it all starts from the raw materials. If the base, don't mm. mind to talk about that, but if the base or the raw materials is contaminated, mm. it will grow with after some time. Mm. If the machine used in processing that base into flour mm. has been contaminated, definitely weevils that have been there would have made some eggs. And during the course of packaging, the container or the packing material will now be sealed airtight. And once this airtight, the eggs that are in there, they have a very fertile ground to grow. So people do not know about these things, where mm. that fault is coming from. A lot of people just do it because they're yes. not really conscious of the fact that this is exactly what is responsible or this is not what is responsible for it. Yes. Just before I let you go, I want you to give the number again for people who would like to get trained in agribusiness. I mean, agri should be the next oil for Nigeria. We have enough products, you said. We yes. have the well to yes. get these things done. So let us have your email address, your uh, Facebook page, and okay. of course your phone number again. Okay, my phone number is 080 Okay. And my Facebook page is Afo Mofe Joseph. That's Afo, A-F-F-O-H, Mofe, M-O-F-E, Joseph. Yes. And then the same, Agri Business Doctor on Instagram. Yes. So for those who want to reach uh, the agribusiness doctor, you go to Instagram and just search for at agribusiness doctor or at for Mufe Joseph on uh, Facebook. And of course, uh, the phone number again, 0064419398. Zero, zero, yes. Thank you so much for joining us. I, this is a young person that is doing well. I really need to bring you back. Thank and you. let's talk about agri. Maybe the young people will join me and do agri. Yes. And maybe more people would drop yahoo yahoo and uh, look the other way <laughs> come over thank you so much i found yourself you. coming up next we're talking about child marriage and of course we're Mimo Adebegi and cyrus johnson is here in the studio they're both here in the studio with us mm -hmm.